So we are going to introduce the Legendre symbol, which is a useful notation for quadratic residues. So the Legendre symbol of A with respect to P is defined as 1 if A is a quadratic residue mod P, and negative 1 if A is a quadratic non-residue mod P. We denote the Legendre symbol as parentheses around the entire notation every single time. We put the number on top, and then we put the modulus on the bottom with a bar in between. Notice that this looks a lot like a fraction, but it's not actually a fraction. So for example, if we put 2 on 3 like this, this is not equal to 0.6 repeating. It's not 2 thirds. It's talking about is 2 a quadratic residue mod 3. If you're wondering why the possible values are 1 and negative 1 instead of 1 and 0, it's because we often want to multiply Legendre symbols, which is easier if none of the outputs is equal to 0. Now let's look at an example with the quadratic residues mod 5. If we take all the numbers mod 5 except 0 and square them, the two possible results that we can get mod 5 are 1 and 4. That means that 1 and 4 are quadratic residues. So let's talk about that using the Legendre symbol. If 1 is a quadratic residue mod 5, that means that 1 on 5 is equal to 1. Similarly, since 4 is a quadratic residue mod 5, we know 4 on 5 is equal to 1. On the other hand, 2 and 3 are quadratic non-residues. That means that we can write 2 on 5 equals negative 1, and 3 on 5 also equals negative 1. So that's how we use the Legendre symbol to describe quadratic residues.